what's going on guys this is Miron and welcome to the new video tutorial in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to insert delete and update in bb.net using SQL server database now without further more any explanation let's do it open up visual studio go to file click on new and then click on project select visual basic and then windows and then windows form application give the name of your application And then click OK. Now expand this form a little bit. Go to toolbox and drag and drop some controls, some labels, and then text box. And then some buttons insert delete and update now change the text of its labels here goes ID and here goes name Your goods address and then finally your goods phone now select the text box and change the name of each text box so that we can remember while we are writing the code txt id your goods txt name your goods txt address and your goods txt phone and change the text of his button your goods insert your goods delete and here goes update you can also change the font size of each control from the font property over here font and then you can give the font size from here now we need to create the database in sql server so open up sql server right click over database new database and database name And then click OK. Expand the database directory and scroll down and find your recently created database. Again, expand that database. Right click over table and then click on table. And we need to give some column name over here. ID and the data type should be integer, name, bear care, address, bear care, and phone, bear care. Control plus S, press Control plus S from your keyboard and give the table M and then click OK. Now go back to Visual Studio. Now we need to connect this application with the database. So go to Server Explorer, right click over uh, data connection, add connection, and change the data source to SQL Server. Click OK. And uh, you can either click uh, on this drop down icon or you can simply type your server name and then select your database and then click OK. Now select that recently uh, created data connection and go to property and copy that connection string. Now double click that insert button and we are going to write the code in order to insert some data into the database. Uh, before doing that we need to import some namespace over here so import system dot data dot sorry 
system dot data import system dot data dot sql clients there you go now insert the clicking event of that uh, insert button what we are going to do is we are going to connect this application with the database in order to connect this application with the database we need to use some predefined classes that is dim connection is sql connection is equal to new sql connection and paste that recently copied connection string inside this quotes and then dim command is sql command we need to execute the command insert command in order to insert some data from a replication into the database is equal to new sql command and here goes sql query you need to write sql query so go to sql server right click over your recently created table and then uh, click on script table is script table is and then insert to new query now simply copy this query and copy this go back to visual studio and paste inside that quotes now here we need to pass some value so here what you need to do is two single quotes inside two single quotes two double quotes inside two double quotes two plus sign and we are going to pass the value from here so txt id dot text and another one similar process txt name dot text txt phone dot text sorry txt address txt edit dot text and finally txt sorry txt phone dot text now we need to provide the connection string over here so connection now we need to open the connection so connection dot open and we need to execute this query so cmd dot execute non query now we need to display the message to the user saying that insert data inserted successfully so message box dot so here goes data inserted successfully information and here goes message box button dot ok and then message box icon dot information that's it now we need to close the connection connection dot close now that's it this much of code can insert data from a replication into the database now go back to design of a form and double click that delete button we are going to delete some data of our sql server database so here again we need to connect this application with the database so simply copy this connection string and paste inside the clicking event of that delete button now again we need to write the delete query so go back to sql server right click over your table scripted and delete to new query copy this sql query go back to visual studio paste that and here what uh, you need to write is dim cmd is sql command is equal to new sql command 
and parentheses and write that uh, copied SQL query inside the quotes. Now here close and then this one. Now we need to write the condition. So here goes the condition where id is equal to similar process single quotes double quotes inside to double quotes to plus sign and txt id dot text and then connection and we need to open the connection so simply copy this and paste over here and we need to change the message so data deleted successfully data deleted successfully there you go now again go back to design and double click that update button and you can simply copy this score from delete to update now we need to change a little bit of this code that means we need to change the sql query so here you go now go back to sql server right click over your table script a table is update to new query and copy that update query go back to visual studio paste that query and here we need to pass the value here goes txt id dot text comma name is equal to single curves double curves to plus sign and then txt name dot text again comma address is equal to address is equal to single quotes inside to single quotes to double quotes inside to double quotes to plus sign in here goes txt address dot text again comma again phone is equal to similar process txt phone dot text and we need to provide the condition where clauses where id is equal to similar process again txt id dot text there you go now you need to uh, edit this message so data updated successfully there you go that's it save it and run your application now we are going to insert some uh, data into the database so give the id one and then click insert message to display data inserted successfully now i'm going to add another one insert and another one insert now go to sql server uh, let's see whether the data is inserted into our database or not so is it top 20 rows right click is it top 200 rows there you go uh, our data is inserted into our database now i'm going to delete the data from sql server that has the id 3 so now click give the id 3 and then click delete data deleted successfully now go back to sql server close this again right click over table and then edit top 200 rows there you go id 3 is deleted now i'm going to update this id 2 uh, from nam uh, run bk to tsn you need to give the id 2 tsn here goes 
yeah, fall and nine eight seven six five four three two one and then click update message to display data updated successfully now go back to sql server here you can see uh, the name of the id2 is ron pk us and this one now we are going to see the updated value so right click edit top 200 rows there you go uh, the name of id2 is updated from ron bk to tsn so that's it in this video tutorial guys if you like this video share this video with your friends so that they can know about these tutorials and if you have any confusion you can uh, comment your confusion in comment section and give thumbs up which really motivates us to make such programming video and stay connected with this channel in order to stay connected with this channel you need to subscribe this channel so subscribe this channel and thank you once again for watching this video have a good day bye bye